Hi, Cybris Roos here. Back with another answer. Better mention the new game plus 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 video, episode 130. Yes, we are that far in this series. It's been a while since last last episode. I've done some stuff like new record tachyon particles, new record dilated time, a bunch of other records. I'm up to like E something, like E 18 spin, I think. Gate. I'm basically here, here. Oh my god, voice crack. And I, I did make a blunder on the blue branch, so that's why blue is way... I, I literally bought one extra of these, and it, it's caused the blue branch to be one and a half orders of magnitude away from the other branches. It is pretty ridiculous. And also, I've, I've been away for a couple of, of days, so I have an insane prion count. I have 1.5 E60. Not only that, one of these upgrades, this is a 21.1 times. This is still one times. But I sort of, I just, I just want to experiment how far I can get through the NFL. Also, yeah, new record, E181 tachyon particles. But anyway, I, I've still been using the bills, the very high time theorem build. I could go ahead and get this study once I get about 70 100 but I'm actually going, going to go into my nano fields build just real quick so I can... I just want to test how OP nano field is. It, it's it's probably pretty OP because of... Like, these are extremely powerful. This is pretty powerful. I have almost E3 quadrillion antimatter. Like, it, it's pretty insane. I don't think I'm really going to be able to get much out of it but it's just it's just fun to see how op i can make nano field like i think i'm gonna need somewhere near i think i need like e19 prion energy to get 20 rewards and it's not all that good i mean it, it's good but i i just like to to see like if i was to calculate if, it, if, if i was doing like a day of this i would probably be able to get up to if I was to do a day of this, I would probably be able to get the 20th reward, but I don't really need that. So, I'm just going to quantum. I've been doing a new strategy with quantums, actually, to give me two color powers instead of one. So, you can see two, one, and then 1.1. And then I have to, so I quantum. So, I'm getting red power right here. And then, um, I unstabilize in a particular order. I should, I also should probably switch to the general production build so like this and then i always remember to eternity and then so i first unstabilize just red and now if you go here i'm getting blue power it's i can even do actually do this again to get myself if i unstabilize blue i can now get green power and all of a sudden I have all three color powers up to basically my quark amount, which is it's a genius little strategy. I'm not I've, I have no idea how many people have done this before. It doesn't seem like a very common strategy. I can also afford to get some of these um, some of these upgrades for the red and green branch because that they, they, they're a lot they work a lot better than the blue branch. So I can't believe just one blunder in the blue branch caused me. Cause the blue branch to be way behind. All, almost all the tree upgrades are just blue, because I'm 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 stuck behind them, unfortunately. But that 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 tree decay. I'm only up to seventy four quantums. Oh, I forgot the other thing I, I did between last episode. I actually went and got. I I also got this secret achievement. But anyway, I got um which one? This this one. Because it was nerfed since last time I was at this stage. Previously, it was E14.5 million, which is impossible at this stage of the game. But then it was nerfed to E12.5 million, which takes a couple minutes. So it actually even has a reward. Getting a normal replicant manually does not reset your replicanti and can be autoed. Which means that if we go here, there is an auto buyer for this. And there's no, there's not much harm into doing this because doesn't reset your replicanti. I mean, it doesn't really do much, but whatever. Maybe the very, very beginning of runs, it could speed it up slightly. I'm not sure how powerful it is. It, it's, it probably does something. It's probably not the most powerful, but 
it, it'll it'll get some stuff done. But anyway, we we should probably try to go into the tree to K build. I I always just try to dilate to try to get some tachyon particles, especially like the tachyon particle formula upgrades, and also to a lesser extent the triple the amount of tachyon particles gain, just so I can get more time theorems per second. Again, when I'm at seven e one hundred, I can uh, I will be able to trade study. So currently I'm using this build. But 323 is almost completely useless. It gives me like 10% more tachyon particles. So I I would rather want um, this one, which is, I don't think it's all that powerful. If you go to Replicanti, it's only E430,000. I mean, it would bring it up to like E5, no, E like 8 million to all infinity dimensions, which is like some it's like near it's like only a few billion orders of magnitude of antimatter but this may persist like in dilation so I, i'm i'm not sure how how powerful that is really is i could be really useful in challenges but uh, the challenges work differently so i i i should probably stop rambling about this and then i go into my tree decay bills it's sort of it's sort of not not with the other builds and I always eternity just because it, it gives me that allows me to get more eternity points and now they're only lasting one day so I can probably go here and that will give me as much spin as 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 I possibly can this I can do but I don't really want to because it's basically already the same time as the red and green so that's what my strategy has been essentially I'm, I'm showcasing the strategy hopefully a little later i'll have enough spin once i get eight levels of this i'm gonna move on to to basically big rip and also just achievement hunting so yeah see you then okay i'm back a little bit later and i there's some interesting things that kind of first i can gain a lot of quarks but also i have e101 time theorems which is enough to actually make a new build I needed about 7 E100 for this build that basically I'm going to be getting even more of the studies. I, I'm going to drop 323, but I'm going to gain 311. So that's going to allow me to to really um, get, get far with this. Um, this will be, I'm going to make a new preset, of, of course, rename. I'm going to name it that, and I'm going to, I'm going to move it up. And, I'm, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to Eternity, so I can stay in this build. And also, we can go in Tree Decay, we can get some of these upgrades. Um, top priority is to always get the middle upgrade, like when you can't be getting any more spin. And then, especially with something like Blue, get the, the, the upgrade on the right, because that's going to give me... It's, it's, it's going to make the Quarks Decay slower, which is pretty crucial. But also, we can try to go for some of these upgrades. We can get another tachyon particle gain. We can get another tachyon particle exponent is increased, which is a big one. We can also get this, which is also pretty big. These are... This one I don't really need. I can get this one so I can just cycle through the others. I don't want to spend too much blue, unfortunately, since blue is way under the others. I may want to get this because it's a cork boost. But I'm not sure how powerful that would really be. So I'm just going to test how powerful... Yeah, we're... Because the tachyon particle formula is better upgrade. That means we're gaining... We're up to e, E183 tachyon particles. Which is... It, it's absolutely insane how, how much we can get from that. But anyway, we can actually go into quantum and quarks. And we're going to go for gluons again. Actually, before I do that, notice something. This upgrade has an effect now. I, I was, I was, I, it doesn't have an effect until E160 trillion tick speed, or 1 over E160 trillion tick speed. But now it finally has an effect after so long of just it doing nothing. It now, it now does something. So this is gonna, this affects, you gain quark spins faster and all branches are faster based on your tick speed. This should speed up Tree of Decay immensely. Especially with all the gluons I'm going to get as well. 
So this build, I'm not even sure how much better than it is in the last build. It's probably not much better, but it's it's okay. So I'm just going to quantum here. I could try to go for error 404. I'll probably do that in the next episode. But we're we're gonna do what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for the gluons. So that means we we just quantum. I I I first just try to get a decent amount of quarks. I think a decent amount is like E900 at this point. It just really it really depends on where I am. What like an acceptable amount would be. So and this is gonna give me like 100 160 orders of 170 orders of magnitude of of, of gluons, which is something I really that is really useful. I'm really going to to need. I mean, I, I'm gonna see how fast Reeve Decay is after getting this upgrade. It's, it's gonna feel it's gonna feel fast. So yeah, here it is. After one more meta boost, E900 corks. That's good amount, which means we can get this. This goes up like thir almost 40 orders of magnitude. We can just unstabilize at this point. And, well, since I'm not on my tree decay build, they last super long. But once I get on my tree decay build, it's gonna... It, it's gonna actually be decent. Like, I can actually... It's gonna it's gonna feel like it, it's... Like, they're, yeah, they're only lasting... You can see they're just, like, lasting... Eight days, seven days, so I, I I can afford to get these two just because I the, the these two should be fast. I think I I will need E one or sixty trillion tick speed. That is the thing. I will need that tick speed, and I'm for and the tick speed doesn't come that easily. I do have to do a lot of waiting for this. So yeah, that that that's the one unfortunate thing about this. Like it feels fast, but really I still need to get to the to the point where where I have E160. Actually, this is so cheap that I can probably I can just do that and then get the four times slower. And I'll just come back like in a few minutes. So yeah, see you then.